Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals and today we're going to take this little bead of gold from one of our previous smelting experiments and we're going to try and remove the base metals by cupelling it using lead and Portland cement. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our cupel out of this Portland cement and I'm going to put it in this stainless steel mixing bowl here so it can hold its shape. And the cupel absorbs the lead oxide that is formed on the lead button as we heat it. And as the lead oxide forms and becomes liquid, it rolls off the lead bead and gets absorbed into the Portland cement here. And taking with it other base metals and the gold and the silver will stay in the in the gold button once all the lead is gone and absorbed into the cupel here. Okay, so now we're going to take our little gold bead here. We're going to weigh it on our scale. Is it being 4.81 grams? All right, here's a little thin ingot I made. Uh, I melted down some roofer's lead, which is nice pure lead. It's very soft. I mean, see, I can bend this ingot pretty easy. Um, so I'm going to just clip off some lead here off the corner. Again, we're shooting for, I don't know, probably between 100 to 150 grams. So there's 63, so maybe twice that much. So we're going to have a pretty big lead button here. There's 63, and there's 64. So we have about 127 grams of lead here, and uh, we'll use that to absorb our gold bead. I'm going to cut these pieces of lead a little bit smaller. Now we're going to take our gold bead and place it in the center of our cupel. We're going to cover it up with our, with our lead. There we go. And now I will go get a torch and we'll melt that down. So here's our cupel. The lead is just starting to melt, and that's a propane burner um, from our furnace we use for our smelting experiments. And as this thing gets up to temperature, I wrap the KO wool around it just to kind of keep heat in, uh, but that lead's going to start melting down, and there's a black scum will form on top, which is the lead oxide, and as it gets up to temperature, that lead oxide will start to slough off into the cupel. Now the temperature's coming up, the lead has uh, starting to open up, and there's, it looks like it's now it's molten on the surface, and that's going to allow the lead to oxidize. Now the lead is completely opened up, and you can see there's a little black ring of lead oxide that's sucked into the cupel right around that uh, liquid pool of lead. And as the reaction continues, the lead pool will get smaller and smaller. So now our lead has reduced in size quite a bit. Uh, the lead oxide ring around it has grown. And uh, as this works down, the puddle is going to get smaller and smaller until it turns into a little gold button. All right, so we just uh, turned off the burner there. And our little gold bead is sitting at the bottom. And it kind of went, uh, I think the term is kind of like a rainbow of colors on the surface there. And then it, it blinked over to to gold color. So uh, I'm going to pull it out of there and then we'll cool it down and get it weighed. Take a look at it. So there it is. It's quite a bit shinier than it was. Um, I think we pulled out quite a bit of base metals there. And it's just real shiny, shiny gold now. So that's pretty cool. There's our little gold bead ends up at 4.3 grams, so we lost about half a gram of base metals. Now we're going to cupel this other gold bead. Um, this is from uh, a video I did a couple years ago where we took uh, uh, some ore and ran it through the turnkey system. And I've got some comments on that video about um, the button doesn't look very pure. It looks like it has a bunch of copper in it. So we're going to cupel this one. Right now it weighs 15.91 grams. 
and uh, we'll put it in our little setup here and we'll see if we can get that uh, reduced and, and looking shiny and gold. So we've just put our lead bead in there and the molten lead uh, as it gets hotter is going to absorb that gold bead and then start driving the oxides off the surface of the puddle. All right, now the lead's completely absorbed that gold bead and it's really hard to focus, but the lead oxide is floating from the left to the right on top of the puddle and being absorbed into our cupel. And here our bead is uh, getting pretty small and you can see the oxides forming on the left hand side of the button and they're actually making a little puddle of oxides on the button on the right hand side. Uh, but as this reaction continues, the oxides will all be absorbed in the cupel and we'll get a nice gold button at the end. Now the button has blinked over to gold and all the oxides have been driven off so now we'll cool it down and get it weighed. Got that button cooled down. It's that nice gold color that we're looking for. Let's see how much it weighs. 13.62. Not bad. So we lost what a, a couple couple grams of base metals. And then here's that other one that we did earlier. Ended up with just shy of 18 grams of gold. So not bad for a day of cupelling. And uh, I think, you know, we, we pretty much removed all the base metals, refined our gold a little bit, and uh, now I can set it off and, and get paid. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.